Hi, welcome to Arch Labs 4.0. We have just installed VirtualBox. Then we tried setting everything up. We went to start it and we had errors. So we fixed it by installing DKMS uh, files for VirtualBox rather than the Arch files. And that solves our issue. So those uh, elements are included in previous tutorials. So now we have a working system here, a virtual box system. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start it. And we're gonna go over the installation of Arch Labs 4.0. Again, missed the click here. So you have the auto capture, blah, blah, blah. This will cause, if you don't wanna see it anymore, I've read it too much, then do not show it again. What you need to remember is the right control on your keyboard to get out or in of the system. So this is our pop-up. If you click all these, do not show and then capture. Okay. So now we are, or my mouse is moving, but you don't see it anymore. So it's captured inside VirtualBox. So right control and there is my mouse again. I can move out of it. So if you press again, we can move with arrows like this and let's start. So putting off, right control this we don't need anymore and let's follow what he's doing again all communications read it and then say I don't want to see it anymore Arch Labs is working with LightDM Manager, Display Manager, and it's going to boot up a live ISO, or ISO, and then it's going to start Calamares, which is our graphical installer, which makes Arch Linux uh, very easy to install. It takes us under seven minutes, depending on the CPU and the hardware you have, and we have a functional Arch Linux system without going into any terminal, without going to know the commands or know how much, what your hard disk is named or how to partition and all that kind of very technical uh, data. In the meantime, we can have a look here. So we have, uh, we are running VirtualBox on Arch Labs. And what you see at the right here is our Conkey, which is working very hard as you can see cpu usage over time virtualbox is taking away a lot of my cpu and we can keep an eye on our temperature as well if it goes up so it's working quite hard to figure out what to do and in the meantime we're also making a tutorial so simple screen record this little one is also going to take a lot of my cpu recording this tutorial. For the rest, maybe a quick word on this little thing up here. This is our Tint 2 panel, so we can make many different kind of looks and uh, designs. You can make it yourself, it's not that difficult, it's just text code, you can change colors and all that. In the Tint uh, 2 configuration uh, machine or, or GUI or graphic user interface, so you can change there, so that's just fine. And this down here is our blank. In the meantime, everything is going to be started here as you can see. And he found out that his screen can be bigger. So that leaves us with our conky in the middle, which should be normally here. So I don't want to see this message anymore. And we have already 34 available updates, but that does not, we do not need to do it here. It's a live ISO, doesn't matter. We do need to do it in the system itself. And here's our Calamares. So welcome to the Arch Labs installer. This program will ask you some questions. 
English is just fine for me. Next is our keyboard and that's different. So I need a Zerti keyboards. So Belgian. Raise my disk. There's nothing on it. It's a virtual box. And now we go for naming the thing. I tend to name it by number so I remember what version I'm working on. Voila. And then we go for next. Next. And now we have seven minutes until complete installation. And we have to reboot so I can uh, spare some tutorial time here and pause. And here we are, all is done. Arch Labs has been installed on your computer. The only thing you have to do is restart. So, okay, let's uh, do that. Do remember if you are running a uh, virtual box that uh, of course you have this CD, which is a virtual one I know, but this virtual CD is still in there. So it's going to try to boot it again rather than boot it from the existing OS. So the best thing maybe to do is just power off, just not save it, but power off it. And then the, the window is closed here and first get rid of this thing here. So this ISO is no needed anymore because we've installed it on our hard disk or virtual hard disk. And there we go, we're off to boot it. So now we know that um, there's only grub, there's only the hard disk, there's no CD anymore or DVD anymore. And we're gonna boot straight from uh, our virtual hard disk. So there we are. And we have to wait for it to happen. You'll see that uh, Arch Labs is faster at the second boot. So the first boot, it's gonna take about a minute on my old computer, but and uh, the second boot is about 11 seconds. So it's quite fast. We only have to wait to boot and then we have a flying machine. Okay, enjoy.